that yard sale sign like that. Sure I can. No, you can't. Yeah, absolutely can. Okay. I challenge you on that. Huh? I challenge you on that. You don't have a permit for it. I don't have to have a permit. Sure you do. No, First Amendment protected activity. It's no, my right. You cannot you convert. Your, you and your First Amendment stuff is. You swore correct. an oath to it, buddy, so Absolutely. I would take it a little more seriously if Absolutely. I was you. Okay, and if you want to try to convert a constitutionally protected activity into a crime, good luck to you. All right, guys, so here is the sign that my wife was holding uh, when Officer Gauger decided to pull up and. Uh, try to bully her and intimidate her about holding a sign out here for our yard sale. Uh, this is right where he was parked on the same corner. Yes, sir. You have your uh, yard sale permit posted at your house, right? I'm asking. What are we talking about? I'm addressing the fact that your wife has a sign. She's holding it. I understand that. If you look at the application or your permit for your yard sale. You can only have a sign posted on your property two by two. Yes, right. you're right. She's holding a sign. It's a yard sale sign for your permit. Doesn't for, make a difference. Do what you gotta do. I challenge you. I, just she could stand there and hold a sign that says, fuck the police. Well, that, so she could certainly stand there and hold a sign that says right. yard sale. That, that's very rude, though. I don't care. You're very rude. This is the third visit I've had from the police department today. Today? So I suggest you get back in your car right, and leave. Well, Otherwise, you're gonna be the victim of a lawsuit, this which is, is gonna be for harassment. I've seen it. Have a nice day, vlogger. You behave yourself it's and go out there and find something better to do. Good luck with your yard sale. Yeah, you, you get back in your car and kick rocks and get the hell out of here. You don't really have to be rude. Goodbye, you're dismissed. And uh, here's a full view of the intersection. Okay? So what I'm going to do is, I gave her a little break now. She's going to hang out by the house and uh, oversee the yard sale. And I'm going to be the one standing out here with my sign. Sorry about that, guys. The wind blew the sign out of my hand. So I'm going to be standing out here with my sign. And I challenge these guys to come out here and tell me that I can't. So I'm going to stand here. I'm going to advertise my yard sale with my sign in my hand. No, yeah, me either. That's why I'm selling it. I hear you. Yeah. Hey, can you just do me a favor? I don't know. It depends, to depends what the favor is. I'm not busting your chops. Okay. But well, you can't hold that yard sale sign like that. Sure I can. No, you can't. Yeah, absolutely can. I challenge you on that. Huh? I challenge you on that. You don't have a permit for it. I don't have to have a permit. Sure you do. No, First Amendment protected activity. It's no, my it's right. You cannot you convert. And your, you and your First Amendment stuff is You swore correct. an oath to it, buddy, so absolutely. I would take it a little more seriously if absolutely. I was you. Okay, and if you want to try to convert a constitutionally protected activity into a crime, good luck to you. It's a village okay? code. It's not, it's not a Doesn't matter. Right. Doesn't matter. Doesn't, show me the village code that says sure, I can't I hold the sign. right now. Yeah. Go ahead. I will. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. There's no such thing. Sure there is. No, there's not. I'm not protesting. I'm not, no, you're wrong. Yeah, you almost just ran me over, asshole. You almost just ran my feet over. You might want to be more, a little more careful, you know? You're so worried about people's safety. you being a little crazy. Well, no, it's all on video, bro. It's not being a little crazy. It wasn't even close. I'm standing this close to your car. It wasn't even close, guys. Go be a cop somewhere else where there's a real challenge. You guys are all soft, bro. You sit out here busting people for garage sales and horse shit and writing speeding tickets. Go to go to the hood, man. Go become a cop somewhere real where there's real crime going on. You only feel like a man with that gun and a badge on. Oh. Yeah, I'll that's exactly what, I right. I didn't have the gun in bed. No, you don't. Well, then quit. Retire. Be a man. Then I'll have some respect for you. So I don't you, respect you want, what you do. You don't do. have respect because I'm doing I don't respect the goddamn thing you do because you people act like a bunch of parents, bro. I forgot you're above the law. I'm not above the law. I'm not above the law at all. You're trying to be right You don't know what the law is. You're trying to be right Did now. you swear an oath to the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution that you say you've had enough of hearing me talk about? Huh? Is that what you did? Yeah. You recite that oath every day? Sure. You do? You want to recite it for me now? No. Nope. No, why not? You don't. Do you, you probably don't remember it. I don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to do a lot of things. Right. Yeah, right. You don't have to harass people having a yard sale. You can I'm go out and fight crime, anybody. Superman. I'm not harassing Why don't you go save anybody. the world somewhere? You're not doing it here on Dayton Lane. It's not happening today. People are ridiculous, bro. A yard sale. You got nothing better to do. Go find a deer that's stuck between a fence. Go find somebody speeding. Go on a 1057 for a little while. Go find something to do with your life. 
What are you doing harassing people having a yard sale, man? You got I'm so much harassed. to say. Yeah, of course you are. You're the fourth police officer to be here today for a yard sale. I have a permit. So, so because I got that's part of my job. Go around. Who complained? Sure that Who complained? Who complained? Your, your sergeant. Nobody complained. Bartle me sending you jackasses down here to harass me in retribution. And, and you're going to see what that gets you, bro. Qualified immunity should be a very precious thing to you. You obviously don't care about it. And you're going to lose it. And I'll make goddamn sure you do. Keep harassing me, bro. Keep harassing me. Keep working on my case for me. Yeah, Keep it up. Working. Keep it up. No shine shall be displayed on this. This sign is not posted. This sign is being held in my hands. Yeah, Get the law right, bro. Figure it out. You should do your homework before you come here, not while you're sitting in front of me looking like an idiot. I'm not looking like an idiot. Oh, yeah, you are. And, and, and probably about 350,000 people are going to tell you you do. Not read the close. comments, bro. Read the comments. When you see the video, read the comments. You'll find out what a jackass you are. Yeah. Because you obviously don't that's, understand yeah, what you're doing. That's that's what we're here to be, a bunch of jackasses. Well, that's what you present yourself yeah. as. And you know what? There are other yeah, officers yes. that are decent, and they get my respect. Yeah. Why don't you start acting like Teddy Farrell? Teddy Farrell. Yeah, why don't you start acting like Officer, uh, Officer Worth? Why don't you get some brains in your head and start treating people with respect? Instead of defending dumbasses like Terry Wallace, who's got 1.3 million people telling him what a dick he is. Oh, Mr. Dickhead, right? Yeah, Mr. Dickhead, that's yeah. right. Yeah, Big Mouth, ex-Marine, flying a tattered Marine flag outside of his fucking gallery. Disrespectful cunt is what he is. Go ahead, defend that. Defend that, that bro. I don't have to defend A tattered anything. American flag and a tattered Marine flag. You ever serve in the armed forces? No, I didn't see No, that. you didn't. Yeah, I could tell. Neither did you. Yeah. I never claim to. Uh, I don't walk around. I, I don't walk I. around with a gun and a badge telling people what to do with my life. I, I've never Why don't you go become a prison guard and leave your gun at the fucking gate and go in there and manhandle some people? Show me what kind of man you are. Nothing. Gun and a badge. Yeah. Yeah. And a whole leave bunch of your boys in blue. A whole bunch time. of tyrants following yeah. you around. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm a cop in Little East Hampton. Let me go see if Mary needs help putting a dog in the car today. What do you guys do? Nothing. 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 That's right. You show up after the scene and clean up somebody else's mess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many times I've heard from you fools, oh, what are you going to do when something goes wrong? Call 911. For what? What are you going to do? Save me? I saved myself, buddy. I've never called 911 in my life. I well, wouldn't... Wait, wait, I just, I wouldn't, I'm going to... Well, you might not have called 911, no, but you have called for help before. When I worked at a hotel... and, no, and, and your a, wife was sick a few times at your That's house. a medical emergency. Still, I'm not you calling call you to say... No, I called the ambulance. Same I don't give thing. a shit what you're doing there. I don't even know what police are doing at ambulance calls. What are you doing? Wasting taxpayer money being right. at an ambulance call. What are you? Are you an EMT? Obviously, you have Are you an EMT? You didn't see the last one where we did CPR and the lady on the bus. Good for you. Good yeah, for you. I'm certified around. in CPR. So I carry a defibrillator in my truck. Well, you're the best. I'm not the best, and I don't claim to be. Well, you just said you were. I said I'm the best? You, you bro, you can't even hear, bro. Your ego's yeah. got your fucking ears clogged. You're absolutely right. Yeah, so why don't you just take a ride down the road? Nobody's putting the sign away. I'm going to stand out here with the sign until you either arrest me, write your ticket, to do whatever you're gonna do because I don't give a shit it's ridiculous okay I'm not allowed to post a sign in the ground yes I have a sign in front of my property that's two by two four feet Teddy Farrell was here this morning and looked at it Sergeant Bartleby was here this morning and looked at it that sign is authorized and it's permitted yes sir you're yeah. absolutely right. Yeah, I am absolutely right. And I'm also absolutely right about the fact that I could stand here with this sign in my hand all day long and there's not a goddamn thing you could do about it. This sign could say fuck the East Hampton Village Police and there'd be nothing you could do about it. You're right. I am right. That's exactly right. So thank you for admitting that. Now you earned a little bit of my respect. I'm, I'm not right. I know you don't give a shit about my respect, but I'm no, giving it because, to you a little bit. Because you're, you're some minute person. Because I'm a minute person? Okay. What, what, what do you define as a minute person, bro? It's about 8 million people. You're one person. What are you? I'm one person. So you're a minute person, too? Absolutely. Welcome to the club, bro. Yep. Yeah. We're in the and, same... And like you said, I'm the dickhead, too, so... I'm a, we're all three of us now in that club. If you want to act like an asshole, I'm going to call you an asshole. And you're here at a retribution I've because of what I do on YouTube. And you're trying words. to give me a hard time. And you know what I'll tell you about your hard time? Go fuck yourself. You're dismissed, bro. You're dismissed. Goodbye. And if your ego is going to keep you here, that's your problem. Oh, you work for me, buddy. Remember that. Yes, you do. Oh, yes, you. you who do you work for? I work for the village of East Hampton. You work for the public. It says public no. servant. No, it doesn't. You're you're not a public servant? No. Nope. You're not a public servant. Say that again, jackass. You're not a public servant. Your ego is enormous, bro. You don't even know what you're saying anymore. 
You're not a public servant. Close the window on me, you dumb shit. Get the fuck out of here. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, that's Officer Brabant of the East Hampton Village Police Department. License plate HML 8966. You're going to be getting a lot of phone calls, bro. A lot of them. What do you got on your little screen? What do you got? Nothing. Nothing. What do you got? No shine shall be located on a rope or any structure. No sir, sign shall be flashing, mobile, or reflective, or made with cloth. Okay, it doesn't apply. Correct. Keep going. Keep going. Find the one that says I can't hold the sign in my hand. You ain't going to find it, bro. It's not there. What do you think? I'm an idiot? I don't do my homework? I know the law better than you do. You just pulled up state and a bunch of crap that doesn't even exist. So there you go. You don't even know what you're talking about, bro. You're not a lawyer. No sign should it advertise structure use or advertise. I'm not advertising or attract nothing. attention to the public. You're atta uh, attracting attention to yeah, the public. Yeah, uh, it attracts attention to the public. Well, your your emblem on the side of your arms a, a, a sign that attracts Thank attention to the public. What the hell are you talking about? You want to write a ticket, bro? Write the ticket. You want to arrest me? Arrest me, but watch your ass, bro. I'm not going to watch your ass. I'm not going to arrest you for a village code. You do whatever you got to do. Do whatever you got to do. I invite you to. I invite you to, bro, because you're fucking wrong, and you're going to lose. So if I was you, I'd put your little cop car here in the drive, I'd go down the road, and I'd try to find myself some crime to stop. Because all you got here is a minuscule little one person out of eight million having it a yard be, sale. Must be touching the nerve because you're getting awfully angry. I've had it. Four cops you're visiting my house in one day. Over a little minute. No, you know what I'm angry about? Your tyrant bullshit, uneducated ass riding around intimidating people, being a fucking bully, and standing up for jackasses that pay your fucking salary. That's what I'm tired of. You're corrupt, bro, and you're exposed. And we're gonna keep exposing every fucking one of you until you're gone. Keep it up. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. You could have done... You know what? When you joined this force, you had all the intentions in the world of being a functioning good member of this society, and you turned into a fucking tyrant, Ray Band. That's what you did. Yeah. Yeah, and you know it. When you go oh, home and look right. at yourself in the mirror You got tonight, kicked out of the fire department, right? Did I didn't get kicked out of shit, bro. I quit because all you people do is go down there to yeah. fucking drink and jerk off and argue with each other. It's a fucking boys club. Yeah. Volunteer fire departments are a joke, bro. And they're slowly getting eliminated. Yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. With your 50-foot oak bar and your captain's that chairs and your big screen TVs and your fucking pool tables. Who's paying been. for... You've never been to the East Hampton Village Fire Department? No. No? You're a fucking liar. No, man. You've never know. been in the East Hampton Village Police Fire no, Department. No. You're a moron, bro. You're a fucking moron. I know what's in that fire department. You want me to draw your fucking picture of it? A bunch of alcohol, five different flavors of beer on tap. You're a bunch of drunks that go down there and hang out and jerk off, washing your cars on the fucking public dime. Yeah, I know what you do. And you know what? Now we're going to head down there and get some action down there for you. We're going to expose the shit out of you people, bro. So you better you better watch yourself. Okay. Don't worry about my sign. Worry about what you're doing. And now go home and do your homework and figure out how you're going to drum up some little bullshit on me that ain't going to stick. I'm not drumming up anything. 49 fucking years, you people never put me in handcuffs. It ain't happening today, bro, and it ain't happening tomorrow. Who ever said you were getting arrested? Oh, well, last you're, you're Officer Kachina said I was getting arrested a month ago. You what could you have got about? arrested that No, day. I could not have. You most certainly could have. No, it I wouldn't could have been by us, You know though. what a civil arrest is? It wouldn't have been by us. Do you know what a civil arrest is? It's a citation. It wouldn't have been by it's us. It's a citation. You wouldn't have arrested nobody. More shit that you're spewing out of your mouth. Yeah, now. Yeah, yeah let's just stand here for half an hour, and you keep just talking shit all day long. YouTube's going to love you, bro. You're an embarrassment to your fucking department. Yeah. Wait till your chief sees this shit. You're sitting here talking like an idiot. I haven't Act done professional, bro. Pe treat people with respect. Maybe you get a little back. You intimidate these people. You walk around trying to intimidate. You don't intimidate me, bro. I'm not intimidating anybody. I've never intimidated anybody. You just pulled up here telling me that I can't have this sign. What, did Gorger send you here because he ran away with his fucking tail between his legs? She's going to be right back out here with the sign, and there's not a goddamn thing you're going to do about it. How about that? Get in your car and have a nice day. Can you day. cross me across the street? Get in your car. You want to be a nice guy and help me cross the street? Absolutely not. No? Absolutely not. Throw yourself in front of a car for all I care. All right. You have a good day, Mr. Gunner. No, well, you don't have a good day. You have a lousy day. Go fuck yourself. How about that? Tell your chief I said the same thing. And you people better stop fucking harassing people or you're never going to see the end of it. Keep it up, bro. No, you don't have a good day. I'll have a great day. Fuck off. 
Yeah. I have no. I don't know what. He was just here 45 minutes. Well, watch YouTube. He's already up there getting thousands of views. So is Bartleby from this morning. You can't start a yard sale till 9 a.m. Okay. And that means you're in violation right now by allowing these people to even come onto your property. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is actually. I took my watch off. 10, 10 to 9, but I watched people come down here 10, 15 minutes ago. So now we're starting 20, 30 minutes early. Well, you can't start so putting this stuff out. I don't, and I don't want to bust chops, but I'm telling you, you're violating the, the rules that you hear about. Come down the road. You're violating the rules. That you you got to start putting this stuff out before I get it, nine. But you can't allow so. people to start shopping before then. No, no, but I haven't sold anything. But who's been shopping? People, you got people standing on your property. I don't know what they're doing. They, they all just I know, they're out. stopping. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Would that not reasonably make me think that they're shopping if they're on your property, walking around picking up items? Yes, Sergeant Bartleby, whatever you got to do, my friend. I don't got to do anything. I got to ask you to follow the rules that you agreed to by signing the permit. Yes. Okay. That's all. Well, okay? I haven't sold anything yet. <laughs> okay. And I can't stop Wait. people from stopping here. Wait until what do you want me to do? Just yell at people and tell them to keep moving? I want you to wait until nine o'clock and then start allowing. All right, but how do I stop them from stopping? You just said because they're stopping. I haven't sold them. I haven't sold them. Listen, though, yard sales doesn't start till nine. So I got to tell people go away and come back at nine. Is what you're telling don't me? Say go away. You say my yell, my sale does not start till nine. That's okay. all. All right. And well, the sign down. You have you. you listen, we're, we're talking about ten minutes. Twenty-five thousand views in three hours. And what, I'm just doing my comments. job. And now that's a little free. Now you're the breaking way, my bro. jobs because I'm doing my job. You're not doing your job. You're harassing me. I'm not harassing you. Well, where's the cook? You pulled up here to tell me I'm doing something wrong. You're fucking ten minutes into it. You can't even find it. You don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. And you're goddamn right. I'm pissed off about it. And I got a right to be pissed off about it. I'm older than you, bro. Treat fucking all your elders with respect. Boy, Treat the citizens of this fucking village with respect. Don't tell me I'm a peon that's one out of eight million, bro. And when you people feel like sitting over on the side of the road saying you're running speed enforcement and you sit there playing with yourself for a half an hour, I know what you do. I know what you do. Yeah. And you're going to, yeah, I do. It's exactly right, bro. You would have been better off just leaving me out of your fucking life. That's exactly right. Because I'm here to expose you like the fucking bunch of cockroaches you are, bro. You people are corrupt. You've been living in this town for too goddamn long running the show, bro. It's over. It's over. Because people are going to hear about what you do. And you should feel because really bad about what you do. around looking for signs and stuff. And yeah. Yeah, so, that's right. How yeah. many people you bully every day? Bully? Here, you want me to calm down for a second and ask you a legitimate question? You want to be a man? Sure. How long have you been a police officer? 20 years. 20 fucking years. That's a long time, right? Yeah. Okay. How many police officers have you turned in for lying on reports, for doing things they shouldn't be doing, for breaking the law? How many police officers have you turned in? Or are you going to tell me it's never happened in 20 years? It hasn't happened on my dime. You're full of shit. What does that mean on your dime? That you've done yourself? No. We've had one person that I know of that's been turned in. Who turned him in? Officer Kachinas. Officer Kachinas. Yeah. 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 And what does that mean? Means, I'm asking you. Well, I'm asking. Have you ever lied on a report and falsified information no. for your own? No, you haven't. No, you're a liar. Why would I? You're do that? a liar. Why bro. do I have to lie? You're all because all cops do. Oh, you will all falsify any information on anything to protect your boys in blue. That's okay. what your tyrant boys in blue, blue ISIS See, that, flag that's is where, all about. That's where you go wrong. No, you think everybody's I'm not wrong. corrupt. No, I you think do. you're corrupt. I don't I'm think everybody's corrupt. corrupt. Yes, you I are. By far, I am not just I am the most honest person. You're the most honest person. Where? Finish your sentence. Most you honest mean? person that you in could ever meet. In your own mind? That you could meet. I'm the most honest. You're the most honest person that I could meet. Yep. Really? Yeah. So you've never lied on a report in 20 years? No. All right. Well, for, we're, we're going to no. look into a lot of things on you. Now you're going to be the focus of my attention. And I'm going to find out if you're right. And you know what? And if you're right, I'll come to you and shake your hand and tell you. Okay. But I don't believe you. You're full of shit. No. You've I... never lied on a report. No. You've never falsified information. No. Full shit. Why? Full uh, what, shit. Why, why would I risk And you know my... what? I don't even Why care. would I risk my career? To lie. Because you can get away with it. How are you? What do you mean? Because all your little mind. boys are blue. All your little smurfs are going to cover up for you, bro. The blue line. Unfortunately, I'm on the other side of the blue line, so I'm not privy to your little crap. Your boys in blue, your brothers so, in blue, that's all, all the you boys care in about. All the boys in blue are corrupt, in your mind. Not all. The well, vast you majority. Just said, you just said all the boys in blue are corrupt. So I can't be that one degree. I can't be that one or two percent something? that you think you is not corrupt. You want to know something? All human beings are corrupt to some degree. Okay. Okay. So yes, all Just police like officers yourself, are right? You're corrupt. Absolutely. I've done stupid shit in my life, and I've lied. I've done I've, stupid shit. I've done plenty of things in my life that I regret, and I spend every day of my life raising my son in a better way than I grew up. That's right. Because we do, we grew I'm up in a different day go and on age. That you go, go go on whatever subject you want, bro. I got nothing to hide. No. What are you going to talk about? Nothing. What do you say? It. I don't have anything. Say it. I involve you. Just said you're not even going off on that subject. Go off, bro. Bring it up. What do you got? Very Nothing. Emotionally disturbed you're absolutely right. Sitting on the bench and 
Look, there's an emotionally disturbed person in front of the stop and shop. Why don't you go arrest him? Give him a 5150 and lock him up for a few days. And then go home to your family and have roast beef dinner tonight with him. Yeah, feel good about that. You still looking for this code that you're telling me about that exists? All right, you haven't found it yet? What have we been here, 15 minutes? There's no fucking code, bro. There's nothing that says I can't hold this. One sign for property announcing the property, which is... Yep, and even if there... Is. No, there is nothing saying I can't hold this sign. And even if there is, it would be a, a, an unlawful code. So you can take your unlawful code, which is not law, and stick it. Yep. There's nothing. So you're going to roll down the road, and I'm going to go right back to the sidewalk and hold my sign, and there's not a fucking thing you're going to do about it. That's the end of the conversation. I wasn't doing anything about it. I just asked you politely. If you, you didn't ask me politely. You just pulled up and told me it was against village code. And that you could write me a ticket for it. That's what you said. I, I didn't that's say what, I was going to. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, no, you didn't. You didn't say you were going to. You said you could. I could. No, but, you can't. And then I, no also have, I also have discretion where I don't have to. No, there's no if code. I, there's no code. It doesn't exist. There is nothing saying that I can't stand here and hold the sign. You're out of your fucking mind. And I'm telling you right now, this fucking harassment better stop, bro, because that's what you're doing at this I'm point. You're harassing me. Yes, you are. You're pulling up, telling me things that are completely untrue under the color of law in the official capacity of your duties. That's fucking harassment to the extreme, dude. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Come rolling up on somebody with a gun and a badge, making shit up. I didn't make shit up. Do you remember what was just said 30 seconds ago? It was your ego, so in control of your brain, you can't even think straight. Yeah, my head's just blown. It up. is. So you know what? You're dismissed. Roll down the fucking road unless your ego's going to keep you here. Go ahead. Kick rocks, bro. Head out. I'll leave when I want to. You're not going to tell me to leave. Well, your ego's in control of you. I see that. No. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. What do you mean you're leaving you want to? There is no lawful And there's nothing saying I can't sit here either. either. I could be doing the stop signs. Let me tell you something, okay? You're not here for a How you doing? You're not here for a legal issue anymore. You're here for your emotional issues because your ego won't let you leave. No. If you were half the man you pretend to be, you'd put your fucking car and drive and go. Nope. Nope? All right, so you stand here. I'll stand here and film you for as long as I can. Till I run out of battery. Because you're just going to sit here. You're working. You're getting paid right now, right? What are you getting paid to do? Just sit here for as long as you feel like it? That's what I mean about you people do whatever the fuck you want. And you're not responsible to the people that pay you. Oh, yeah. You're responsible to the politicians in this town. And you kiss ass to everybody that pays taxes on further land. You don't give a shit about guys like me. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. You're right. Yeah, oh! You're right. I am so glad you just said that. You just made yourself a fucking movie star, I don't bro. care about you. you. You're absolutely right. Yeah, you don't care about guys like me. That's what no, I no, said. No, you no, agreed. No, no, no. no. I said you, I don't no, care no, no, about no, no. you. No, backtrack now because you realize you fucked up. I didn't If fuck I was up. you, I would leave because you dig. You know, there's an old yeah. saying, bro. Once you find yourself in a hole, stop digging. If I was you, I'd put the fucking shovel down, put this car and drive and get out of here. Because you're making an asshole out of yourself. And all you're doing is digging yourself deeper, bro. Yeah. That's why you people all got to wear those dark sunglasses because you're ashamed of yourselves. Yeah. Tough guys. That's it. Cyborg cops. Yeah. Yeah, big tough guys. Yeah, tough guys. I don't have the privilege to get my sun, my uh, regular glasses tinted. But, 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 you don't even know what you're talking about. You don't have the privilege to get your regular glasses tinted? But what, the, what the hell does that mean? Bro, you guys are messed up. Instead of just being able to admit that you're wrong, you can't. And you're going to sit here and keep looking at what you're doing on your computer. What are you doing? You've been looking for 15 minutes, bro. There is nothing. Why don't you do that homework before you get here? So when you roll up, you tell me what to do and you're right. You ever think of that? But yeah. I guess the problem that is- That would be good. Yeah, yeah you're that would be good. Here. And you know what the problem is? You roll up on people all the time. You roll up on people. What the hell is that? The radio? Oh, so now you, well, you just listen to the radio while you're doing your work? See, the every every with car you has is, a radio, correct? The, yeah, yours has a police radio. Why don't you try listening to that? Instead of S-horses. This is what you do. Here's what Officer Brayman is listening to. While, while, while a member of the public, who he's here in his official capacity dealing with, is talking to him. This is what he does. He's got love songs playing on his radio. That's cute, bro. That's really cute. You know, your problem is you're used to running up to people and running your bullshit on them and having them get scared. I, I ain't scared of you, bro. You. I'm not trying to scare you. Well, then why are you pulling up telling me things that aren't true and you just admitted it? Or are you going to say you didn't? 
No, you're absolutely right. I can't find the section. Because it doesn't exist, dude. Okay. So next time you come to give well, me shit, possible. find out before you get here. Get your ducks in a row before you come harassing me and my wife. Okay? I never arrested. Golga just pulled up and started I giving my wife, my wife crap. So, you're so, part of the same so, team, so bro. Don't, don't you're say, part of the same team. Don't even Whatever say you do is. Listen, wife. you're all operating under Sergeant Bartleby, who's got to stick up his ass for me because that's, he's humiliated himself deal. numerous times. That's his deal. That's not my deal. I'm, well, you're here to you're here to be his little pit bull. And okay. you know what? Today, the little pit bull is running home with his tail between his legs. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. There is no legal issue here, bro. There is nothing. Just your emotional issues. Go deal with them. Yeah, it's exactly right. Bye. Adios. Here's my sign. Holding it up. Here you go. Let me get on the sidewalk so you can't give me a ticket for being in the roadway. I'll be on the sidewalk holding up my sign if you need me, bro. Have a good day. Sign, yard sale. Here I am on the corner holding it up for all the world to see. While our friend Officer Freeband has all the time in the world to just sit here looking up something that doesn't exist. Bye bye. Adios, Officer Freeband. Toodaloo. Stay out of the street so he doesn't give you a ticket for standing in the roadway. That'll be next. Good for you. What'd you find? No sign or other structures used to attach or attract or att the attention of the public shall be located in any public place, road, roadway, right of way, or on the public property except as permitted. That means posted in the ground. No, it doesn't. That's why it says structure say or posted. other sign. It says structure. It doesn't, doesn't say Me posted. holding a sign, man. You want to write the ticket, write the ticket, bro. Otherwise, kick rocks. Four, I don't give a damn what you do. Nope. You know who I am. I don't have my license on me. We're in New York. No, I don't need to have a license no, on me. Figure it out. You know, you know, you're supposed to carry your ID. Right? No, you're not. No, you see, you know, another bullshit thing you just said. In New York State, you are not obligated to carry ID. You're wrong, unless I'm in a motor vehicle operating it. Another thing you don't know what you're talking about. Correct? No. No? no. So write me a ticket for not having my license on me. I dare you. I challenge you, bro. Go ahead. I'm not going to do that. No, I want I'm you to. I invite like you to. Right, guy? You're writing me a ticket for standing here with yeah. this sign. Yeah, knock yourself out. Because you said that you said I couldn't find the section. I yeah. the section. Write it up, bro, and I'll go in and have it thrown out. And then I'm gonna sue your ass for harassment. Knock yourself out. Right. Keep it up. It's not harassment. Keep it up, yes it is. It's total harassment. You didn't read it again before you start writing, so you're sure what you're writing, dude. You're talking about a sign that is posted in the ground, not a sign that's being carried in my hands. No, it doesn't say. Yes, posted. it does. No, it doesn't. I can carry anything no I sign want. Or advertise, advertising structure. No yeah. sign or advertising structure. Right. We both understand English, correct? No sign or advertising structure. Right. Right away. Have fun. You might want to check with your sergeant before you do that because you're going to be making a big mistake. No. I'd roll the window up if I was you and I'd call your sergeant. I'd call a lieutenant and double check. No. Do yourself a favor because you're making a mistake. Yep. No. Unless your ego is going to run the show for you again today. Yep. Yeah. I would double check. Good. Double check. Triple check. I will. Dot your I's. Cross your, cross your T's, bro. Make sure. Okay. Yep. Because I do know the law and I know exactly what I'm talking about. You can't tell me I can't hold the sign on the side of the road. Absolutely not, bro. Constitutionally protected activity, no matter how badly you don't want to hear about it. And it's not only an amendment, it's the first one. The First Amendment to the Constitution of the United States of America gives me every right in the world to stand here and hold this sign. And there's not a goddamn thing you, Judge Tukulski, Judge Rana, or anybody else is going to do about it. And I'm not standing out here for no purpose. I'm having a yard sale today. And when my yard sale is done, I will go inside, my sign will go inside. And that's how that's gonna go down. Sounds good. Yeah, it does sound good. It sounds very good. Yep, sounds wonderful. Yep. People are a joke. 
Absolute joke, man. All right. Yeah, all right. You have a nice day then. Yeah, you have a nice day too. I will. My day's going to be great. And from one human being to another, stay safe out there, bro. You too. Yeah. Just don't get run over by any cars. No, well, the only one I almost got run over was you. Asshole. Oh, that's the way you do it, guys. No ticket, no citation, no nothing. Stand up for your rights, people. Don't let these guys fuck you around, because that's all they want to do. Intimidation and bullying. That's all they know how to do. He's not writing me a citation for anything, and he's lucky I stopped him. So, I'm going to go inside, get myself a glass of water, because my mouth's a little dry. Maybe even eat some lunch, and then I'm going to come back out here. Put my sign back up and continue with my yard sale until six o'clock when my permit permits me to. So coming to you from the village of East Hampton, guys, in front of my house, watching the watchman, Mrs. AP, Amagansett Press. See you on the next one, man. We'll keep you posted. Out.